Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy to the loot. So, I'm up here on East North Avenue that's over here by the East Baltimore uh, District Court. You know, this stuff still looked the same since I've been a kid. Um, I'm just sharing my journey. So, this is East Baltimore. This is my story. So, I'm going to actually take y'all on a journey. Hopefully, you know, these phones get hot. It's 90 degrees outside. So, I know these phones get hot and things like this, but... I got more of an iPhone, so I might have to switch back and forth. But um, I'm going to just try to record this until, you know, I guess it overheats. But anyway, I'm going to show you all the walk where I had an alcoholic mom. Um, i never been to school when I was a kid and all that. You feel what I'm saying? I might have been to school maybe one or two times. But I'm going to show you all the walk that we used to do every night. And my mother and them had a gambling problem, and they gambled and all this. And it was just every night playing cards. And uh, we will walk down from here all the way down to Abbotson to Kennedy. I'm trying to figure out what house it was. This will look a little different. It might have been one of these. Yeah, I know the dentist right there. Might it could have been this house right here. There go a cat right there. But it was one. But it, it started from up here. So I'm just gonna take y'all on the walk and I'll talk a little bit. Um, let me see. I believe it was that house. It could have been this one right here, 1505. Yeah, it's, it's even one of these. It's even we lived in this one or that one, and we was on the third floor. We actually moved in with my stepfather that's still with us today. This was back in the '90s, so this was like '90 shit. Uh, my brother passed away in '95, so it could have been '94, '93, or something like that. Uh oh. So I'm just going to take you off in the walk. So y'all see where we started at. We start from over here. We used to get out here every evening. Could be morning, evening. Not not, not never the night time. Because we will always come back in the night. So we started from here, man. And we'll see how long this video is. I'm going to take these keychains off. Like I said, 90 degrees out here right now. And I just took you out through East Baltimore. And I'm just letting you know what I used to go through, man. So... Like I said, uh, dealing with an alcoholic mother, I never really paid it no mind. Because like, as a kid, you don't really know what's going on, you know. All you know is you're going to the bar with your mom and stuff like this. And she she getting a 40 ounce of Schaefer's or, you know, them big ass 64 ounces and all that cost a dollar, two dollars or something. It's like it just get drunk off of it. So... There's always some noise around East Baltimore too. If it ain't an ambulance or something, a helicopter, some trucks moving. It's always something though. Super carry out. So all this stuff still look the same. Ain't shit changed and all that. So dirty as hell around here. You know, you would have thought over years, though, and I'm talking about, I, I'm t we talking about the 90s, so it's 2023 now, and I'm, uh, I'll be 37 this year, and this shit still look the same. So I know a lot of y'all sometimes be looking at them videos when people be like, uh, Baltimore worst hoods and all this other stuff like this. I don't know who be doing them videos, but them niggas be scared. You gotta get out and walk around and all that. So I'm showing y'all the walk I did. And, and now, these walks too, it would be like different different types of walks. Now before my mother wasn't too drunk, it just it was a lot of walks. But as we started repeating the same walk every night, I started to comprehend like, okay, this way. I, like one thing about me, my direction was getting good. Even if I didn't know the street names or nothing like that, I knew exactly where to go at. That's the same way like when I go up DC from the train station, I know exactly how to walk down U Street. I don't need to know which uh, streets or boulevards or nothing like that. I know exactly where to walk at. So, with this one, it, it was a lot of ways. To, it was a lot of ways to walk. But, um, I'm just taking like a straight shot down from there to the point where, um, you know, straight from where we was living at Albury Street now. And this used to be hell, man. You know. I really don't know the age too much. I remember my brother died when I was 10. No, I was 9. I think going on 10. So it could have been 
seven, eight, maybe seven, eight, nine or something like that. We've been around here. My mother used to put me through hell, dog. I'll be telling my nieces and nephews my story. It's like y'all can only imagine what the hell I was going through, like, especially as a kid. Um, you know, just like I said, just, and we talking about when it was real bad, you know what I mean? We talking about when people was doing drive-by shootings and, you know, people can rape you and all this. We walking through alleys and shit, like, especially East Baltimore, like I said, it's a big difference. All black people are the same, but what I do notice is, what I do notice is, oh, what damn bugs everywhere. What I do notice, a lot of times, you know, it does be different from East Baltimore to West Baltimore to South, uh, to North and stuff like this, is where East Baltimore, man, you know, like I said, motherfucker kill you over a honey bun down here. Like, it's that, it's that thorough and deep down here. That's why I do got to mention, I do have my protection on me in case if I do got to get into a situation, which I don't want to, though. You know what I mean? But that's why I'm just trying to come down here and record my little journey. And, uh, you know, this goddamn cars be coming so fast now. Calm down, man. As y'all can see how dirty it look around here. Man. They, they be trying to build up some stuff. I surprised John Hawk was then. Uh, John Hawk was basically, uh, you know, buying up mostly East Baltimore anyway. But yeah, y'all, so just think about as a kid that five, six, or seven, or eight, or nine, where you got an alcoholic mom, and then you got to do this walk every night, back and forth. We had seven minutes right now. I had to do this walk every night. Like I said, never been to school or nothing. Now, at these times... It must wasn't lock your parents up, you know, if you ain't seen your kids to school and all that. But I never, man, my school was getting around my aunt and them and, you know, everybody smoking, playing cards, drinking, arguing, fussing. And, it's, you know, you see the band of business, all this, I'm telling you, it still looked the same since I've been a kid, though. Look at this shit. It still looked the same. And Baltimore got so much money that it could rebuild all this stuff, man. But a lot of black people get so comfortable, they just love this. They love the hood. I was happy as hell to get away from here. But I still come back down here, here and there, though. It ain't nothing really down here to come for. You know what I mean? But ain't no, ain't like somebody own a block where they can't tell me, oh, you can't come back down here. I'll come when I want to come back. So just imagine this on a late night where you walk in as a kid with your mom trying to hold her up. She drunk as hell, passing out, fall, you know what I mean? 20 minutes, 10 minutes, you crying as a kid, trying to make sure she good. And next thing you know, she get back to life and you walking again like, oh man. They just bring her back memories just thinking about this shit. This ain't no, it wasn't no game, man. So that's why sometimes if y'all see my videos and I talk out of anger and passion and stuff like that, it, it does be a lot, you know what I mean? It's a lot built up. There's a lot of built up that I go through. And I never got to talk about my story. I never got to talk about my story at all. So there's a lot of hookers around here, though. Those damn... Yeah, they did. Somebody told me about this this block right here. All I know, I know, is a lot of hookers. They got a lot of type of outfits on. Like, I don't look dirt, dusty as hell too. You know, those damn hookers up here, though. Prostitutes, whatever you want to call them. Out here selling ass. But I appreciate everybody watching my videos, watching my journey. So this is East Baltimore. This is my story.
Because, you know, you always got somebody always talking about, yo ain't from that block, yo ain't from around here. Uh, I, my little footsteps been up all up and down this strip. All up and down this strip. I'm talking about every night. I was outside every night. So much damn noise around these boys. See, I'm not gonna really never have nobody walk around the hoods like this. You don't have people in their car skid and throwing it on a dash cam and all that other wild shit like that, but I'm out here, man. It ain't nothing to be scared of. That's why I be like, how the fuck you be scared of your own people? That's what I be mad about sometimes. How the hell? Scared about scared of your own people and they just Today is Monday too, by the way. There's a lot of vacants, man. There's a lot of vacants around here. A lot of them. That's your average in Baltimore City. A lot of vacants. We at about uh, 11 minutes right now. We almost down there. But sometimes this walk was even slower. When I told you, like I said, when you had to lift up your alcoholic mom. And like I said, a lot of times she used to fall. Man, let me see. I remember, she fell right there. She used to fall at these, some steps over here. Just drunk, yo. Drunk as hell, like. Train tracks, good old train tracks. All praises to the most high though, man. You know, for me even making it out of here. Making it out of the situation. I've been through a lot, yo. A lot, man. And I wish, like I said, man, for the people that been through elementary school and middle school. You know, I went to middle school and, and a little bit of elementary school. And my she used to fall right there with them steps at. Sometimes fall in the middle of the street. I used to sit down and had to cry and all. Let me get across the street. People always in the car trying to mug niggas and all that. Just go the fuck on, like. So we used to walk on this side a lot. But she used to fall. Sometimes I fall right here. You know, sometimes I fall in the street. Cars would have to go around us. I used to really had to lift her up, yeah. And what we in? We in 12 minutes, 13 minutes. Hey, you paid as mine as a grave. Phone is getting a little warm. So I wanted to do this for y'all. Like I said, I wanted to share my story and tell my story. You know, because this is stuff I didn't go through, man. You know what I mean? My own family don't even know me. Like I said, a lot of people ain't been with me when I was down here on this journey. Journey with my mother and all that. They ain't been with me. They don't have a clue what I've been through. And even I heard my uncle say some shit like, well, you know, your mom, your mom made a lot of sacrifices. And I'm like, where? Like, you know, the shit I remember, man, you know. The government always took care of black women. Food stamps, Section 8 vouchers, you name it. But we always had, my mother will always not pay bills. Got a check, though. But she never would pay bills. We had hella candles, lights get cut off, sell a food stamp so we had to go to churches and get goddamn brown paper bags of canned goods and peanut butter and shit like that. 
It's like, wow, though, why don't put your kids through this stuff, y'all? And that's why I be telling y'all, y'all parents love these habits so much more than your kids. It's sad, though, y'all. Look at this shit. It's been like this. I'm only mad about some crackheads in there. But y'all love these drugs more than your kids, y'all. Smoking weed, drinking, popping pills, and shit like this, cocaine, and all this other stuff. I love this shit more than your kids. It's like, why, wow, man? Don't put your kids through nothing. Like, don't put your kids through this, y'all. The life I had, I'm telling you, a lot of y'all couldn't even handle this shit at all. Y'all wouldn't couldn't even handle And that's what I said. I know for a fact the most high was with me. Look at Smokey Robinson. I forgot this nigga name right here. A mayor, not a mayor, a governor. Who the hell that is? To be on homestead. So I'm not cutting down any other blocks because, like I said, as a kid, once I comprehend that we was keeping a straight path and I knew where to turn that, that's where I'm going to turn that. So I'm going to turn right on Abbott and Kennedy straight down. So we'll be 16 minutes in now. Y'all can just sightsee. That's Lake Clifton Park over here. That's a dirt bike bike. Look at it. Now you got a dirt bike bike. They always got some barber shops around here. So we on Gorgeous Avenue and Hoffer Road. 1700 block. I could go down this way, but I'll keep straight up and go down. What if somebody asks me, like, Lee, what if you run into some drug dealers or something? Like, man, I don't give a goddamn who. I can run into Mike Tyson. But why you got the camera? Because I got my camera on my uh, my pistol tripod, so they be like, well, he be. He around here recording the block. You motherfucking right. That's what I said. Never be scared, especially if you black, you from the hood, man. Now, if you did something, yeah, you can't come back around. I understand that. But I go where I want to go at. As I walk through the valley, valley of the shadow of death, I should fear no evil. And I always walk with the most high, man. I've been walking with the most high since I've been a kid. And that's why I believe that I made it. So we on Coswell Street. I could walk down here too. Is that Bruce Lee and them? Always some am lambs. I need something wrong. Uh, what's up, man? What's up, bro? Can I store you know? Oh, no, I'm good. Is it loud around here? Damn sure loud, ain't it? I think we done walked past like 60 churches. This is the bar everybody usually come to, the main bar. Abbaston, 1700 block. They still open? Oh, they was closed. They were closed. Oh, they was closed. So I'm trying not to point the camera in anybody's face and I'm like that. I'm just trying to bop through. I will walk through the middle of the street, but they locking people up for jaywalking right now. Back to all this shit again. I used to come over here and take a piss in the alley. Right? Uh, I ain't been down here in years. This old dead down here is ridiculous, y'all. I'm surprised people still live down here for real. Now this part up here always been kind of good. Been kind of laid back. Kind of elder. Elders. We'll be at 19 minutes. At least make sure y'all give me a thumbs up for walking through the hood. 
I ain't been down here in a while, like. No, I thought you were talking to me. Oh, okay. Okay. Where you got a drink at, Cletus? She's like, this truck looks nice. Mm-hmm. Somebody ain't getting money. And that's a lot of things. Like, if it was back in the day, they would have took all these rims, all this shit, all that. That's how you know it's laid back now. Thank God the phone didn't get too hot. We're still recording, y'all. We're still in there. Now, up here, always been real decent. It's crazy. This still the hood, but these houses have always been... I've never been in one of these houses before, not that I know of. Because when you get down to the other side, it's just terrible, dog. Like, <laughs> the shit we used to go through, is just horrible down here. But this is the living in Baltimore City, man. And, um, you know... Things can get changed. This, he always been right here. He must have been like a mechanic or something. Things can uh, change around here. I know, but they don't want to do nothing, man. And it's sad. I wish I had like a million dollars or something like that. I damn sure will buy this block back and make them an apartment or something. You know, I damn sure would do something around here. These houses have been up since I've been a kid. Some of them, only a few of them got knocked down. So now we on Polk Street and Abbotson right here. As you can see, look how dead it is around here. I don't even know if the corner store is still open. So this is where I'm from around here. My brother used to be around here. Um, a lot of people, man. This was the first Grand Theft Auto. This was... If they was going to do Grand Theft Auto, like when they first came out with it, they should have recorded that around here. I'm tired already. Whew. So, this is Aviston the Kennedy, 1600 block. This is where I'm from. So, my family from. The majority of the family. Um, and We was all family around here, man. A lot of love around here. As somebody was cooking out, you know, everybody would come and show love to each other. We might have had some fights up and down, you know, here and there and things like that, but shit, it, it was love, you know what I mean? And that's how it is really running hood. Like, I know everybody just like, oh, you the hood, this and that. But it's like, it, it was a lot of love, man. You know, once you get known and stuff like that. Oh, right here too was a house right here. My first girlfriend was named January, this chocolate girl. That's how you know I got a good memory. I used to love her ass. Chocolate girl. Damn, I wish I could find her. I don't even know how what she looked like now or what, but January, I remember the um about the first little girlfriend I had. They knocked that house down and never never grew back. Now my nephew, his grandmother never used to live here. Everybody, you know, would come over here and show love to them. A lot of other people live around here. Like these houses just like this shit is sad because it's just been it been like this forever, yo. Look at them though. Can let me zoom in some? I think John Hop was really going to buy this shit soon and just tear it all down. Now, like some of these are homeowners. Now, we used to live right where that red door at. Look at this. Um, My godmother, Miss Silver, used to live right here. I should love coming up here. My stepbrother, uh, I said my stepbrother, my godbrother Ryan. Now, he, like, coming over here now, you know, and that's big shout outs to my, my uh, I ain't seen my godmother in so long. Man. I wanted to see her so bad. But. Coming over here, you know, she had Christmas for us, son. And, you know, when I came over here, I felt more like a kid. He had bikes, games. I was spending the night over here, you know, if my mother was up there with my uh, aunt. But, like, being over here, man, you know, it just it was it was a lot of love right here, yo. You know what I mean? They, you know, and that's why I appreciate his mom and, you know, my godmother to the point where it's like she showed me a lot. And then he had so many gifts. She had let me play, you know what I mean? Whatever his gift was, was my gifts. And sometimes she was buying me something too, but, you know, he wasn't selfish or nothing like that. And she had let him know, like, you know what I mean? We would just sit there and be kids, yo, and just play with the toys and stuff like this. You know, and that's what it was all about, man. You know, that's about the only, a little bit of part of childhood that I had staying over there. Now, we used to live right here. Right here, we used to live, right by the damn store. And I don't even think we even lived here that long, dog. But I remember a little bit about this, but not too much. I remember more about North Avenue where we came from. This was Yum's right here. 
I guess they put them out of business. Bruce Lee and them, they had a pack, had a haul ass. They got my favorite color up here, though. I'll tell you that. But yeah, but the hell with Bruce Lee and all of them. You know what I mean? They need to leave. They've been in the damn hood for too damn long any damn way. You know, if a black person should come and turn this shit into a soul food spot, but it's so dead, as y'all can see, look at this. And there's still people living here. You got people live right there next to a bank. That's crazy, yeah. The liquor store used to be, look at this. This liquor store used to be jumping right here. It used to be a laundromat right here that my aunt, Auntie Lois, uh, not used to own, but she used to work at. Look at the bar, the bar gone. My brother died right here. That's why I got all these tattoos. Now, my brother died right here. I shot in the head right here, dog. That's why I don't come back down here, you know what I mean? But the laundromat was right here. And um, I'm going to end it once we get up here to my where my aunt used to live at. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the walk that I would do every night as a kid from the age of 6, 7, or 8, or 9. You know, and um, that's the shit that, you know, that's the stuff that you get traumatized by. And a lot of parents don't even take the time to say, you know, I apologize for putting you through this and things like this. But they want you just accept it and move on. And that's the sad thing about it. But, um, you know, it is what it is, man. Sometimes we'll come over here by the playground, play a little bit. I had a couple friends. My homeboy, Torres, and them lived up here. His brother, Barry, and them. Um, there's a lot of older people that still around here. You know what I mean? A lot of older people was all up in this area. I'm seeing Dora the Explorer and all of them, so they're up here now. You got that dirty-ass water coming out there. I'm trying to figure out what house my aunt was at. Let me see. My uncle lived on the other block, too, as well. That water dirty as hell. Don't play in that water, man. The water dirty. Me that. Me that. The water dirty. Dirty water. Look at that. Look at Dora. Meet up, meet up. So I think she lived right here, 1534. Or was it 1532? It's one of these damn houses right here she used to live at. And um, that's the damn walk we would do, dog. From here to all the way back down there where we came from. Look at this shit. Damn. I'm just showing you, this is the real Baltimore, man. This, this is East Baltimore. This ain't nothing fabricated. We used to do this walk every night, dog. Every night. Whew. I'm tired as hell. I appreciate y'all watching my video. We'll be at 28 minutes. Really appreciate y'all because I wanted to get this for y'all. You know, if something happened to me today or tomorrow, at least y'all can know a little bit of my little bit of my story. Cause I talk about my story a lot, but I really wanted to show y'all. Yeah, man. This is Baltimore for you. I don't miss a thing, man. Just bring back bad memories. A lot of pe a lot of bloodshed, man. A lot of bloodshed. A lot of bloodshed was around here. You know, every time you come around here, you get depressed and sad. But that's how people live. That's how people want to live. And all that, man. But appreciate y'all watching. All praises to the Most High. Still keep me alive. Um, yeah, man. Just stay tuned to my next videos. I was still trying to get my health together. Up and down, it's up and down, but I guess I'll be alright, right? I know y'all probably saying this. Yeah, look at these houses, man. Look at them. Look at them. You still got people live right next door to this shit. Bugs, rats. There's still people live. Look at this. There's still people living next door to this shit, dog. Because people own the houses and don't want to leave. 
Don't want to leave, dog. Until we meet again, this is your boy to the loot, East Baltimore, and this is my story. Yarrow! Yeah,